from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Lauren St. Germain. Meteorologist Jason Adams has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, your top stories at this hour. Police say a woman was seen on camera at a hospital emergency room in Bradenton loading a gun. They say that woman was arrested and no one was hurt. This happened at Blake Hospital on 28th Street West around 2 a.m. Police say a staff member spotted the woman loading a firearm in her purse. Still no word on what she was planning to do, but it is illegal to have a firearm in a hospital. The parents of Gabby Petito and Brian Laundrie are facing each other in the Sarasota County courtroom today. Gabby's parents are suing the Laundries for damages from the death of their daughter. They believe Chris and Roberta Laundrie lied about Brian's whereabouts during the manhunt for him last year. As we've reported, Gabby Petito was found dead in Wyoming after going on a road trip with her fiance, Brian Laundrie. Laundrie died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound more than a month later. The judge did not make a decision today, saying that could come in a few weeks. If the case does not get thrown out, a jury trial could begin in August of 2023. Right now, Pinellas County is getting ready to upgrade the system you rely on during an emergency. So when you call 911 now, an operator shares your information with emergency responders. Soon, every law enforcement agency will get access to that information seamlessly. They'll also be able to see where other responding officers officers are located. The Pinellas County Sheriff says it will speed up response times and improve emergency response overall. Now here's meteorologist Jason Adams with Florida's most accurate forecast. Jason near record high temperatures. That's a weather story for us heading into your Thursday as the heat builds back in after seeing a little bit of a break from it over the last couple of days where we've seen highs into the upper 80s and lower 90s. We're back into the mid to upper 90s inland and low to mid 90s toward the coast. Humidity also starting to climb as well, so that's going to make it feel even hotter with heat indices over 100. Thursday and easily over 105 from Friday into next weekend. We're also looking at a little bit of moisture returning enough to give us a slight shower and storm chance for our inland spots here Thursday. We have a 30% inland 10% at the coast and then as we fast forward to your Friday heads up, we are looking at a much more widespread threat for rain inland and north of I-4 Friday morning dry, but it's Friday afternoon and evening showers and storms are a good bet for our inland spots and again areas north of I-4 and then all of us have a much higher chance of rain heading into your weekend.